Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. So in the fall, the leaves are coming down, they're mulching the ground the way they're supposed to. In nature, that's how the soil is built. You go out into the forest, there's that much compost or more out there and there's nobody making compost. It just lays there and decomposes. Well, you can do that at home also. You can either mow over the leaves and let them stay there and break down, or what I like to do is gather them, compost them, and then put them back. And gathering them allows me to have these extra leaves to put on the compost pile during the season to cover food scraps that are going in there. And the pile is big enough that I can take out from the center of the pile the decomposing organic matter. And that decomposing organic matter after the leaves then becomes this down in the center. Here's some good looking stuff right here. And I'll put that into the strainer and strain it out. These are nice, y'all need to have one of these. See that the debris that's not broken down is there. And then what we get is this material right here in the front, this beautiful compost to make potting soil with, to put back where it belongs, to make a compost tea out of. There's a lot of good things to do with it. Look at this guy right here. This is a giant grub worm. These are not problems. Look, I can pick them up and handle them. You can do the same thing. And um, they become the rhinoceros beetle. Big old nice beneficial insect that helps decomposing at my matter in the garden. So um, I'd leave those alone. If they're in the way and you don't like them there, just relocate them. You don't have to uh, kill them or throw them very far. These guys are really nice and they'll find another spot. Right now they're looking at this pile over here and trying to find their way over to it in order to move into it and be safe once again. This is their first time out in the open. This question about oak leaves and whether or not they break down, you can see that they do rather easily and I don't put a lot of effort into it. The final product after sitting in the pile for several months, moisture is very, very important. Moisture needs to be there and then it'll break down. Now the moisture that's in this material right now comes from the rains that have happened. I didn't take the hose out there because it mulches itself. That pile is really nice in doing both of these things, mulching and uh, allowing it to compost. And there's no heat involved. Many people talk about the heat necessary to make compost. Well, in the forest or in this kind of a pile at home, heat isn't part of it. It breaks down naturally. So I think that um, you don't have to worry about some of these techniques that are discussed quite a bit. I would encourage you to get a screen like this or to make your own screen. These are very useful on many levels, but mainly to get rocks out of there, to get debris out of there, to get leaves that have not broken down out and end up with a really, really fine product. You know you can't buy this kind of compost. This is the best of them all. The commercial composts are out there, that's good, maybe when you need more, but this kind of homemade compost, you just can't beat it. And when you find the occasional little grub in there, or the occasional giant grub in there, uh, or some other earwigs and other critters, they're all part of the process of breaking down organic matter. It's the way it happens in nature. So I wouldn't worry about those guys. Move them out of the way and they're going to be fine. Make, make a compost tea. Learn about compost tea making. This is a fine product that you can use to drench in other parts of the uh, garden and it stimulates root growth and a healthier garden. So the most important thing that the organic gardener uses is some good compost. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromkuhl. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.